नमस्ते एवरीवन माय नेम इज युवराज सोनावने एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एडेप्टो ऑल्सो नोन एज एडेप्टो लर्निंग टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल प्लेटर वर्जन मैनेजमेंट दैट इज एफ पी एम ऑन मैक ओ एस फॉर मैक ओ एस आई विल बी चूजिंग बिग सर विच इज द लेटेस्ट टेबल वर्जन एंड द इंस्टॉलेशन फॉर एफ पी एम विल बी वेरी सिमिलर टू दिस फॉर अदर फ्लेवर और वर्जन ऑफ मैक ओ एस So let's get started. To install FPM on Mac OS, there are two ways you can follow. First one is standard alone package, or second one is via dark package. Now we will have a look at how to do it via standard alone package because that is something which is recommended by FPM team. To understand it more, let's visit their website and have a look at what actually we need to do. But before doing that. I need to remind you one thing that for installing a standalone package we do require a piece of other software or package which is known as brew to be installed but before visiting that let's have a look at fvm app website i'll open a browser you can open any of your favorite browser that can be safari i am using firefox right now what i can do is i will just type fvm and i'll press enter you can see that first website that is fvm.app i'll click on that now you can come here or you can go for the installation link which was given below that but i'll get i'll click on get on started i'll come to installation section here you can see that standalone rec is recommended and uh, the pub package is not that recommended because for that you will have a requirement of installing dart prior to installing an fvn under which you will again install the dart version for that particular flutter uh, flutter version which is something which uh, will be redundant and we don't need to do so standard or stand alone package is something which is recommended we will be following that now as i told you before brew is something which we need so if i just open a terminal on my system and i type brew you can see that it's not installed let me just drag my uh, web browser to a corner so that it's cleaner and easy to understand or easy to have a look at it okay so you can as you can see brew is not installed so what we need to do is just go to google you can type b uh, sorry we are in brew uh, sorry i typed brew but it's uh, go to google or in your browser address bar you can just type brew install or or on mac okay missing package manager okay you can just go here now this is showing you how to install homebrew homebrew is something it is called but we has a short form call it brew just copy this command okay now come here uh, to your terminal paste it install it will ask for password because of course it's mac and here we go it's downloading it and installing the brew that's it your brew package has been installed you can just type brew and now it will show you all the commands which you can use to uh, to use this package manager so let's get started first thing which we need to do is copy the first line come here paste it install it actually i copied both of them uh, because there was only one option available so it will it will have a follow up for both of the commands you don't need to worry about that just copy it and paste it here and that's it we are done with installation of both and here is your fpm it is much more easier than that of how we used to do it for windows because in windows we have some other way of installing it and that's very different than that what mac os has so this is how you can actually install fpm and as you can see fpm list i have two actual versions of fpm installed because this is something i am redoing it for you guys uh, i was using uh, fpm prior to recording this videos and also i'll do a sided part of like doing it for you guys and uh, showing it to you how it is actually done if for example right now i can do one thing remove stable it will remove stable now i will run again fpm list it is showing 1.22.6 which is very old you can understand how old my fpm installer installer was uh, remove 
1.22.6 it's something like one year back i was using it on mac but then later on i moved to windows the development system currently i'm using it for uh, my work that is windows system but currently to demonstrate all how it can be done on mac i am using this okay so now let's let me see no sdk has been installed so what we will do is fvm it's fvm releases uh, so release this s is important and you can see that there is a there is 3.0.1 has a stable version and 2.10.5 something i'll install so i'll install two flutter fpm version uh, sorry F flutter versions here so fpm installed 3.0.1 and let it clone and install it Now let me install flutter version 2.10.5 so for doing that i will type fvm install 2.10.5 now you can see that 2.10.5 and that version 2.16.2 has been installed so this is how you can do it now let me show you pm list that is showing that 3.2.3.0.1 and 2.10.5 has been installed but none of them has been set as global version or uh, global version so let me do fpm global 3.0.1 okay so we have made those changes now every time i'll create a project in unless and until i define what version of fm will use that is flutter version will be used that uh, by default it will be 3.0.1 and if i want to just uh, change it to something else that is 2.10.5 in my case so i will do fm low 2.10.5 and now you can see it has been changed so this is how you can install fpm on mac and configure it it's pretty simple but just you need to understand instead of like typing stable or something else you can actually you should actually define the proper version number you want to install and that is how you will be able to manage different versions on your single system for multiple projects that can be from any flutter version which inch exist right now and that's it for today thank you for joining me on this small video i hope you enjoyed it if there was something which you learned or some doubts which you had have been cleared out uh, if this is the case then please do like and subscribe to my channel also share this video with all of them who actually need this or can enhance their knowledge so thank you for joining me on this small video see you next time bye